The online learning department at the Rochester Institute of Technology has been actively involved in the investigation of potential uses of Second Life, which led to the purchase of the RIT Island in January 2008. Since then, a virtual campus has been developed, including many virtual campus services and common meeting facilities. The staff in online learning have been partnered with RIT faculty to develop six teaching projects over the past academic year in a variety of disciplines to further the investigation and specific educational uses of Second Life. All of the development of the RIT Island has been done by wonderfully talented students from within the university. The multi-threaded client-server chat visualization was created specifically to help RIT students learning Java programs. The goal of the project was to visualize for students the process that occurs when a client is sending a message through a server to a set of other clients. This process can be difficult for students to understand when only looking at the flat 2D code that makes it happen. By visualizing the process in 3D, students can create a mental model of what is occurring throughout the different components of the program and be able to more accurately troubleshoot any issues that may arise. The Math Whiteboard project was created to allow students to work collaboratively in Second Life while completing math activities. The staff of online learning gained an extensive amount of knowledge regarding the limitations of Second Life and real-time whiteboard functionality. After a few failed attempts to create an effective real-time whiteboard, a palette option was used to allow students to drag numbers and math symbols onto the whiteboard to create the full equation collaboratively. This solution was successful technically in Second Life, but the usability of the whiteboard was not conducive to a productive learning environment. In the end, the students spent more time using the whiteboard to create the equation than focusing on the concepts they were intended to learn in the course. Even with this outcome, the project was very helpful in understanding the strengths and weaknesses of a virtual world for educational activities. The Tencel Tester Simulation was created to allow students to experiment with a piece of equipment that they would normally not be allowed to use until later in their career at RIT. The Tencel Tester allows the student to choose a material and the amount of force that is applied to the material. The result of the test are shown on the Tencel itself, as well as in the stress versus strain plot to the right. This information provides students with valuable insight related to material properties and allows them to test their own theories without the risk and expense of using a real-life tensile tester. The Economic System Simulation was created for students in an orientation to business course learning about the differences between communist, socialist, and capitalist societies. Through this simulation, students are immersed in each of these systems virtually by exploring 15 different locations, including stores, hospitals, and homes of individuals from each of these three systems. As students explore these locations, they are given information in the first person that helps them to determine in which system this person is living. Students were also given visual clues like maps and flags to determine the country that was being described. All clues were also delivered to the students with streaming videos of interpreters with embedded captions. This made all of the audio components of the simulation accessible to the deaf and hard of hearing students at RIT. Once they have explored each location, the students can record their answers and check to see how well they did. This project brings the common attributes of these three economic systems together in one easy to explore virtual location which would be very difficult to accomplish in the real world. The computer hardware project allows students to virtually explore the inside of a computer and manipulate some of the basic components, including the CPU, memory, video card, and much more. As students explore the components and make sure each of the pieces are connected properly, the results of their actions are displayed on the monitor. Here they can tell if the video card is not properly seated by whether or not anything is displayed. The feedback students receive from this activity can let them experience some of the common mistakes that occur when putting together a computer. After experiencing the virtual computer activity, students will make fewer of these mistakes when working with real computers and can move on to the next level of complexity that is required. 
The Computer Animation and Algorithms course was taught in spring quarter almost entirely in Second Life. In this course, students are required to learn about computer animation and build their own 3D objects. Students take the knowledge they learned about computer animation techniques and directly applied those skills within Second Life, where they had a sandbox area available for the class to work. The lecture portion of the class was held in the RIT Island Amphitheater. These lectures were also real-time captioned live in Second Life. This was a significant technical accomplishment for RIT, who has a large population of deaf and hard of hearing students. Second Life was crucial to the design of this course in its entirety and provided students with valuable hands-on experience that they will be able to apply in their future careers.